and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. Do press the subscribe button for more tutorials and tarot moon stuff. Okay, so we're looking at the moon. No, we're not. We're looking at the sun in Taurus now, the sun in Taurus. So Taurus is the sign of the bull, stubborn, practical, strong-headed, level, grounded, an eye for beauty from the Venus there in the planets, the builder of the zodiac. They are patient, really patient, sensual, nurturing, and a lover of nature as a rule. Some of you will have Taurus as your ascendant. Some of you might have your moon as Taurus or, or your Mercury in Taurus. So there will be bits of that that will really resonate with you. But if you've got the sun in Taurus, that is your key. So um, this time now is a really good time to think about what is important for you. Hold on, I'm just move. I just had a random thing come up on my uh, computer one second so it's a really really good time to build yourself oh, what's going on there come out of that it's a really good time to build yourself up okay so um think about what is important to you think about your values that's what taurus is all about thinking about values they rule the second house in astrology so that rules your values and your money your possessions what's important to you there it's a good time now to put value in yourself, value in how much you give to others, how much you give to yourself. And you could even be adding value to property or adding value to things that you do, your businesses, your relationships, whatever. You could be adding some real good value there. Have a look at where Taurus sits in your astrology chart for a little bit more detail. Could sit in any of the, any of the signs there or any of the houses to get a little bit more information of what, um, where, where this is going to pick up for you. So it's a good time to plan, really good time to plan. Tauruses are planners. I'm a Taurus, so I know exactly what I'm talking about here. Um, Taurus are planners and they're builders. They literally can rebuild, rebuild anything. They can rebuild themselves, they can rebuild homes, businesses. You can knock them down and they will rebuild things stronger and better than before. They are known as the builders of the zodiac. So ask yourself, where, where do, in your life do you need to be built up again? What needs rebuilding? What needs re-looking at? Maybe something's not been working. Maybe something's crumbled and giving you a little bit of uh, freedom to be able to rebuild a situation in your life there. Get sensual. Get sensual with yourself. Get sensual with your lover. Taurus love to touch, taste, smell, lick, you name it. Taurus are very sensual and they have heightened senses. So surround yourself with gorgeous things, whether it's um, literally going in the garden, smelling the flowers, whether it's buying some new perfume, whether it's getting jiggy with yourself or getting jiggy with your lover there. But um, Pay attention to your senses, that's what I'm saying. Pay attention to your senses because now they could be particularly heightened there. You might find that you're shopping and you just get really drawn to some gorgeous fabric. I've got the velvet trackie on today and that and a bit of bling, that's all Taurus, sensual, something to touch there. Spending time in nature is good in the UK here. We've got our summer coming. So spending time in nature, spending time in the woods, even in the winter, spending time grounding yourself, earthing yourself and surrounding yourself with beautiful things. Could be an art gallery, it could be pictures, photos, anything that's going to make you feel good. Taurus is ruled by the planet Venus and that represents the arts and the beauty and the love. So it's a strong connection there of everything fabulous, everything gorgeous. Now, known as the stubborn sign of the zodiac, you could ask yourself, where are you being too stubborn at the moment? Where are you not being flexible enough? Sometimes we can be so hell-bent on getting what we want that we actually, it's, it becomes detrimental to our purpose there. So ask yourself, actually, am I just being too stubborn? Am I just being awkward there? Do I need to chill out a bit? Do I need to reset things? Do I need to be a bit more flexible? In a moment, I've created a tarot spread. We're gonna be looking at that as well. So um, money, 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 Taurus is rule second house. So um, get on top of your finances now. It's a really good time to look at your money, to look at what is uh, working for you, perhaps start a savings scheme, perhaps look at investments. But if you are looking at investment, investments, Tauruses aren't usually a gambler. So they don't like to take risks. They like to make sure everything is secure. So whatever you're doing with your finances, Make sure you've got it all tickety-boo and it's all, all secure and safe for you. But starting a savings scheme would be really good at the moment with the Taurus energy there. Even if it's just a pound a week, you know, by the end of the year, you'll have, or a year time, you'll have 52 pound. 
Um, security is really important for, for uh, Tauruses as well. So ask yourself where you don't feel secure. Maybe it's in your relationship, maybe it's in your work, maybe it's in yourself. And that is the area that needs a little bit of work on. So tap into something where you can be secure. Myself, I, look, I do like to have a few bob in the bank. I like to have my home secure. I like to have secure relationships there. And if something is out of kink, then I don't feel right. I like to get everything organized first every, and then I will go and do my own thing. So I like to have everything t quite neat and tidy, but not, I mean, that's more Virgo, but really I like the security of everything in its place there. I like to know where things are. Taurus are in for the long haul. They don't like chopping and changing. Don't, not very good at changing things. Um, they're not very promiscuous as a rule, although they do love a good feel up. They like to feel secure in their loves, in their home, in their friendships. Their form, they, they can be slow at forming friendships. Um, so because they weigh people up, they check them out, they need to make sure that they're worth their loyalty, that they're worth putting their time and their value and their investments in. And if they're not worth it, then they're just not gonna bother. So they can be slow in checking things out, checking friendships out or checking businesses out or whatever it is. They're a slow builder, but sometimes slow builders are the best. Otherwise you can crash and burn, can't you? If you betray a Taurus, oh, 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 they will kill you with your, their silence. Tauruses can be quiet and they can just keep their mouth shut and hold their power for forever. They can, they will always remember as well. Even if they say we can't remember, they will always remember. They remember everything. Is it elephants that remember everything? They forgive easily, Tauruses forgive easily. We're not one to be hung up on things, but it will be stored in our memory bank. And then in 10 years time, we'll go, do you remember when you did that? That's just the way Tauruses are. So have a look at what it is that you're holding on to that you might need to release a little bit at the moment. Have a look at if it is doing you no favours holding on to those negative memories perhaps there. But on a positive side of things, we remember long-term happy things as well. And we're not shy at pointing that out to people if somebody gets it wrong. We do, like I said, we do forgive, but never forget. So if we are betrayed, we will pull away all our resources that we have used to help you. Tauruses love to build people up. They love to help people. They love to support people. And they will give you your, their all if they think you're worth it. But the minute a portrayal sneaks in there, they will pull their resources. They will still be friends. They won't have to break up with you, but they will be done with helping you. So, you know, quicker than you can say bull in a china shop, you will be left on your own. So that's a warning there. Don't ever piss a Taurus off. Taurus love food, as you can tell. Taurus love food. They are the foodies of the zodiac. So check on your diet now. Have a look at your eating habits, your drinking habits. It's National Tea Day today, actually. So have a look if you're eating too much of the wrong things. You know, we are foodies. We like sugar. Um, we do, earthy food is good for Tauruses. So homegrown veg, homemade meals. I don't do that. But homemade meals and, and earthy food, vegetables, rooted food, they're good for Tauruses. So check in that you're eating sensibly, check in that you're eating all your fruit and your veg. And if you're not, this is a great time to do it. Tauruses love to do things their way. And this can be seen as manipulative sometimes. It's one of the negative sides of the Taurus. They can be seen as a bit manipulative because they want to get their own way. But it isn't that they want to just get their own way. It's because they want things done right and they want things done properly and securely. There's no point to half heart doing something because you've only got to come back in and do it. So they know they've got a good eye for things. They know what looks right. They know what is good um, and they know what they want there. So maybe have a look at if you're being a bit too manipulative. Some people, you know, it's just part of your shadow side. Some people don't even like to admit that they can be manipulative. I know I can be manipulative. I try and do it in a fun way. I'll try and be like, if I tidy up, for example, and there's some crap of the kids. And rather than saying, oh, for goodness sake, can you just put all that away? I will be like, wouldn't it be easier if you put that over there? And then that means that you can get to it because of this, this and this. So it's a little bit of manipulation there to get what I want. Really, I just want the box out. So I definitely, definitely do that. But um, I try and do it in a nice way. But some Tauruses, you know, there is a shadow side that can be manipulative, particularly when we're younger or when we haven't worked on ourselves. There, there is a manipulative side to Tauruses. So check in that, be honest with yourself. And if you think, do you know what? I did manipulate that situation. 
then own it and release it, let it go. But it's a good time for a check-in now. So ruled by um, Venus, the glamour, the planet of beauty and art and creative, and they ooze, you know, most Tauruses ooze sparkle, they ooze sensual energy, and they are quite a head turner there so anyone that's ruled by uh, venus so libras as well have usually got you know they're usually good looking tauruses and, and libras are usually good looking because of the venus aspect to it there so t make yourself glamorous do your hair get your good clothes on obviously i'm in trackies today <gasps> not having a taurus day am i but do something that makes you feel fabulous do something that makes you put your lippy on get your nails done or do, you know, buy that extra pair of shoes if you can afford it. Do something that's going to glam you up. That's what Taurus is like with the Venus. Make yourself a bit more beautiful. And I know I'm here and beauty's on the inside. I know all of that. But it still helps to look nice, doesn't it? And at the end of the day, other people have got to look at you. So it's always nice to look at a pretty picture, I think. Okay. There's always a bit of work that can be done. Now, let's have a look at the Taurus uh, tarot spread that I created. So, I'm just going to have a look on my thing. What is the Taurus energy around us now? Let's have a look. The Taurus energy around us now is oh, fabulous. 10 out of 10. So, here, the Taurus energy is indicating happy families, emotional contentment, finding joy, finding happiness, possibly house moves coming in there where there's a lot more happiness. This could be seen as weddings, engagements, or just feeling happy and contented with exactly what you want. So that's a gorgeous card to have as the Taurus energy. Feeling emotionally satisfied there, emotionally at peace with who we are and what we've got going on. How can you nurture yourself more? Taurus vibe there, how can you nurture yourself more? It's the sun card, some good cards we're picking for Taurus. So you can nurture yourself more by being fun, having fun and being free. Being free to be able to enjoy things, being free to be able to be childlike. You know, get that creative energy, get your colouring pens out or go barefoot in the garden. Anything that's gonna make you feel free and fun and not really have a care in the world. This is how you're gonna nurture yourself. So every now and again, just touch back base and think, have I really enjoyed doing this? It's all about enjoyment and it's about fun. The sun card can be travel, so you might find that nurturing yourself, you get to go abroad or you get to spend a bit of time in the sun, get a bit of vitamin D, that would be wonderful for nurturing yourself. Spending time outside, but also understanding that sometimes being a bit vulnerable, there, not wanting to carry everyone, not wanting to hold everyone's hand or build everyone up, and just spend a little bit of time being that childlike energy is going to be how you can nurture yourself. Creative, but also that card connects well to families as well, spending time with families or, or friends that you choose as family. What plans need your attention now? Let's have a look. What plans need your attention now? Okay, so there's a couple of plans that could need your attention. Now you could find that your finances really need attention. Maybe you've been robbing Peter to pay Paul. Maybe you've been juggling things a little bit in your financial area. Now this card is positive because it says you can juggle things, you can manage things. But we've asked the question, where, where do our plans need to be um, attentive now? So it is around your finances, so getting your finances in order so that you're not robbing Peter to pay Paul or juggling, you wanna be comfortable not juggling. But also if you've got choices around money, choices around your home or choices around businesses or work, that is the area that needs attention now. Weighing up those choices and making the best decision, knowing that you can trust your intuition with this, but also knowing that you can overcome obstacles here. So weighing up your attention needs to be done in businesses, money, home, anything that's got a material gain that you're weighing up where there is big choices involved. Put your attention there. What, what financial support guidance can we offer? What financial support guidance can we offer? Bearing in mind we're not a financial, um, whatever it's called. Anyway, what financial advice can we offer? It is the Ace of Cups. 
beautiful card, gorgeous card. Blah, blah, blah. This is saying, so let me read it again. What financial support guidance is on offer? Help, help is at hand. Help might come out of the blue, could come out of nowhere for you. You could find that there's a family member or someone who's got an emotional connection to you, a good friend, but it's like help is definitely on offer. So if you're struggling financially, do reach out because there is help literally at hand there, okay? Fabulous friendship card too. It could come in from any source there, family or friends, but with an emotional attachment to it there. So the support that you need, do reach out because you are gonna get it, but it could come out of the blue as well. How can you be more practical with your endeavors? How can you be more practical with your endeavors? Okay, how can you be more practical with your endeavours? Now, the hangman here asks you to make some sacrifices. So if you're juggling just too much, be practical and think, can I do that? Can I carry all that? Can I weigh all that up? You might have to sacrifice something in order to be better at something else. So look long term. Taurus is the long term planner anyway. So look in the long term distance. Where do you want to be in three years, four years, five years? Make your practical decision, and if something isn't making you happy now, get rid of it so that you can put the energy into what is in the next few years, though. See things from a different angle. That's how you can be practical, by seeing things from a different angle. Now, where are you being too stubborn? Where do you need to be a little bit more flexible? Okay, where are you, do you need to be a bit more flexible from being stubborn? The Empress. But, you know, we've got Venus in this card. So lovely card that connects to Taurus energy as well, Venus energy. So where can you be a bit more flexible? Where do you need to stop being so stubborn? In the home area, perhaps, in the family area, perhaps with a daughter or perhaps with a mother, okay? Stop being so stubborn, relax a bit and find a way to kind of be a bit more flexible. Also, this card will come in if you're looking for a baby. Try not to be, I mean, it's difficult. How can you be not so stubborn looking for a baby? But try and be a bit more flexible, all right? Don't be so hell-bent. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do it that way. Be flexible here. Anything to do with anything that you're trying to grow, whether it's a baby, whether it's a business, whether it's a home, whether it's a family, friendship, whatever it is that you're trying to grow, or even yourself, don't be too stubborn that you'll end up being making wrong choices and decisions just because you can't get your head out your ass. Be flexible, okay? In anything to do with nurturing, it's asking you to be flexible. Anything to do with building things up, chill out a bit. If you've had a bit of crosswords with a daughter or with a mum, now's the time to think, do you know what? Yeah, okay, I know you were right and I was just being a bit pig-headed there. So own it, step back, and you'll find things become a lot more easier. And your final Taurus tarot message is, Taurus tarot message is, the world. Fabulous. So there's a gorgeous set of cards that we've pulled today. The world. The world is your oyster Tauruses. Now, the world card here is saying that there are loose ends being tied up. Things are coming full circle. You're ready for new chapters. But I feel that this is done on a very slow vibration as it's Taurus. Okay, we've even got the Taurus in, in the connection there of one of the four elements. So it's a nice balance card. But what this is saying is do things slowly. Don't worry about if there's some delays. Don't worry about if there's some hiccups. Everything will be as it should be. And when there is some delays, when there is some hiccups, we learn from that, don't we? So, you know, how many times have you sent, gone to send something and you've deleted the whole post only to think, oh my God, and then you rewrote it and think, actually that was better than the first one. So sometimes a little delay in our step forward will have a benefit there. And that's the Taurus way of nice and slow and steady rather than just rushing ahead there. So look at what needs um, coming to an end where you'll be tying up your loose ends and embrace this new chapter when you're ready that will take you into a whole new world of opportunities and fabulousness. If you would like to have your own tarot spread done in that way for the Taurus, then just message me, leave a comment, and um, we can arrange to do that for you. I'm not even sure what I'm charging for that yet, but we can sort that out. Okay, have a fabulous Taurus sun energy now. Don't forget all those little things that I said. Try and use the energy positively for you. If you do want to book a regular reading with me, then you can book through www.katemay.co.uk. Follow me on Instagram and on my Facebook group and you will be soon to hear some um, 
VIP Mystic Members Lounge that is opening up soon. So if you want some more tarot learning, if you want um, meditations coming in, we're gonna be doing tutorials, meditations, we're gonna be doing lives, it's all from a private group. So just let me know and uh, I can hook you up to join that as well. Take care, enjoy Taurus. Happy birthday, Tauruses. Bye.